1999 to about 2002, we're the biggest band in the world. Nobody thought it was going to be as big as it was. The best-selling boy band in history. Then it just stopped. What do you do when you're a full-grown man in a boy band? I had this idea to go to London, just the five of us, and to record an album. No families, no girlfriends, just us. Lou Pearlman was one of the wealthiest men in Orlando at the time. Lou had seen the success of Boys to Men, New Kids on the Block, and he was like, well, I can do this. I can put together a group. At that time, radio was playing Nirvana and Snoop Dogg. There was no room for boys like us. I think you guys should go to Europe. It just became this whirlwind. We had sold 14 million albums off of our first CD. And it never came out in America. Are you telling your friends and family, yeah, we're huge in Europe? <laughs> really? I'm having a blast. This is not just a regular tour. This is a big deal. We're all older now. So much has happened. $300 million he stole yep. or was missing. We've seen the best and the worst of each other. I'm not afraid of you anymore. 20 years is a long time for anybody, let alone a five bunch of dorks jumping around on stage singing and dancing.